drag and drop it onto the bottom left and you have the complete kit there. All right, so this is a quick tip for everybody who is using iMachine 2. As you can see, I've already loaded up the app and if you use it, you probably know that it doesn't get much love from native instruments. So on its own, it's kind of an okay app, but it's quite separated. And for example, it's missing a UV3 support. So if you want to use the sounds outside the app, you have to rely on inter-app audio. And I found that it crashes quite a lot if you do that. But if you're like me, you probably bought quite a few packs back in the day and the sounds of the packs are actually quite great. So I loaded up the first kit from Amplify Get Funk here. And that's actually quite usable. But how would I get those one shots and samples out of the ad? Turns out it's actually pretty easy. First, what you do is you load up a kit on all of the four pads here. For example, here I loaded the first kit of Amplified Funk, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, so forth. You can only export four kits at a time, but usually that's enough. You also don't have to take them from one expansion pack, you could mix four kits however you like. And when you've done that, all you have to do is actually click here and select export for machine. Then you enter a project name, for example, Funk Export, you hit export, and then you're getting a zip file that has all the one shots and samples etc neatly organized inside. I'm not going to unextract that here because I already did that. And here is the result in this folder and as you can see it creates a subfolder that is called Amplified Funk and within the subfolder you will find all the samples, for example here the drums, neatly organized into folders. And inside those folders, you will find looping files that you could load up into your favorite app, for example, EG Pulse or Beatmaker. Okay, so, but what if you're a lazy person like me? We could go one step further. There's an app that's called Kitmaker. So it's not an iOS app, it's a Mac or Windows app. So you have to install it on a desktop PC. And what it does is it actually takes machine packs or generic sound packs and converts them into kits for different DAWs or iOS apps, for example, Beatmaker, Nano Studio. But it also outputs numbered files. For example, the files will then be numbered from 1 to 16 and you can use those files to import them into, for example, EG Pulse. And now in the last step, I will show how you can import those into EG Pulse after you have exported them. I already prepared this with the kit that we saw before from Amplified Funk. So first what you want to do in EG Pulse is reset it to an initialized bank and for that you just click in it. All right, so I have a completely empty bank here. Now you swipe from the top right to get the files app and there you see I created a folder called Kitmaker. And in this folder, I have the export from what I actually got from Kitmaker. And as you can see, it even labels it with the right label. And inside there, you find the kits that are exactly the same as you have seen in machine. And for example, let's start with this free on it kit. And all you have to do now is make a multi-select, select all of them. Somebody is going to tell me that there is actually a select all button in the comments or something like that. And then you drag and drop it uh, depending where you want to start. So I personally want to start on the bottom left. So I will drag and drop it onto the bottom left and you have the complete kit there. The only thing that happens sometimes with Kitmaker is that for whatever reason it misses something and I think this is when it's one shots that are not from the drum kit. So for example here I'm missing two but still pretty good, right? So that's it for today. A quick tip of how to I export your iMachine 2 samples and import them into EG Pulse. Somewhat automated, let's say it like that. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.